guys, it's Tosh from Cranky Gamers UK and we are starting our PS4 brand new install of a hard drive. Now this is going to be a pretty long video because it's in quite a few stages and we are going to first show the beginning of the unboxing of the hard drive. Now behind this story, is a, it is a bit of a story, as you can see you might be thinking well that's not a two and a half inch internal laptop drive. No, what it is is a Seagate two terabyte expansion caddy now the thing that you I must note and I'm going to try I'm going to show you the start on the video and then I'm going to just pause it a little bit to, to have a look because it's actually a sealed caddy and you might be wondering why is he doing that well quite simply guys um, this has saved me around 25 to 30 pounds at the current date of this video um, from buying this internal caddy to an external drive. Uh, this has cost me, I think, just £52. Now, what I also want to give a shout out, and I wouldn't have done normally, but I just feel that this site at the minute I'm using is just a fantastic deal, and it's called bespokeoffers.co.uk. Now, what that site is, it's run by Barclays Bank, I think, when you get there, but on their tabs on their site, there's a little tab called Beat My Price. Now what happens is, is you go and find a link of this drive, and I actually found this on another website for around £60. I took the link, signed up for the site at Bespoke Offers, it was free. You go to Beat My Price, and you place the link of your found price that you've found. So basically what happens is then, is within 24 hours they email you not only the link to the beaten price, but also the actual chance of ordering it direct. And exactly what I did. I put this drive in on a site I'd found for £59.99. Uh, less than an hour it was for me. I got a link. It doesn't tell you exactly where the link is from. It just goes directly through the bespoke website. So you go in, find it. I found it for £52. I clicked the link. I purchased it. And three days later, here is the said drive. And this goes for other stuff on bespoke. You can literally put games in it. I've seen Destiny with 14% off this morning. Uh, gadgets, anything. Go ahead, give it a try. And I'm in no way affiliated with the site, guys. I've had no no other things from them other than I've used it just like you guys will probably go and try. Uh, and I highly recommend it. I've saved myself quite a lot of money. Um, so first off, a couple of things. Um, USB drive for the PS4. The PS4 update is on there. I will get to that when the time comes. A couple of screwdrivers and this little gadget here is a very nasty looking piece of kit and this is actually out of a very cheap watchmaker's kit that I've bought off eBay this week. Um, very sharp actually. I've already cut myself on it once messing about like an idiot. But anyway, what that's going to be for is to hopefully get into this. Now, I've seen a few videos already um, about this drive and about getting into it and it is quite difficult as I say probably won't record the whole thing but I'm hoping to just get some of it on you for you for you guys just to have a look um, but it, like I say the, the trick is is to try and prise it open to keep it in its state because the plan is is when I remove the 500 gig drive from the PS4 it will go back in here and be used as a spare drive for whatever which is the plan but like I said at the top of the video it has literally saved me about 20, 25 pounds. Highly recommended, way better option. And apparently, according to some reviews, guys, although this says Seagate on here, inside there is a Samsung hard drive. And apparently it's received very good reviews on speed tests on the PS4. So without further ado, let me try and get into it. Um, I probably should have done a little tiny bit of tape undoing and everything. But I tell you what, why don't I use this? dangerous piece of thing here which I have straight away and there we are we're in well I think we're in anyway and there you have it a nice little packet and it's USB 3 as well guys by the way just want to add that if you was buying that drive just for a standard what it's meant to do lovely piece of kit very small smaller than I actually thought Obviously, a USB cable that's not much use to me at the minute. So let's get rid of that. Um, sorry for that. Right, and here we are in a nice little plastic bag. And let's undo it. Now, what I'm going to show you guys, there's the USB. I'll show you the front of it. Let's get it the nice way. It's a lovely size, I might add, if you are actually using this for, you know, for one thing or another. But now, the trick is, I'm going to try and get in close here. 
this could be very difficult very very difficult and we're looking right on the edge there now like i say this is probably going to be very very difficult to show on here um there is a ridge right along there and we're supposed to prise that open at one end then go along the top there with a screwdriver and unclick it now the videos i've seen they've actually gone and unclip that unclip that at that side now i'm not going to start at this side because this is where the workings are that i'm hoping to keep i'm going to probably start at this end and you can just see it now you can just catch the ridge there the plan is to unclip it there unclip it there and then apparently you're supposed to get just a screwdriver in here and it clicks off and then lifts off so i'm going to pause the video guys and i will let you know how this does and hopefully i might get a bit on it if it comes off pretty easy so i'll be back in a few minutes hopefully to continue this ps4 new video installation new hard drive installation thanks for watching so far guys okay guys we're back now i would have actually liked to have shown you how i got into this but if i tell you that the video that i've just recorded took 10 times longer to actually save than this did to take off uh, and i am just going to show you i did exactly what i said now i didn't start at this end i started at this end right here and this tool as i said it was out of a cheap watchmaker's kit and as you can see it's very very thin on the end i didn't try the screwdriver because i didn't need to i literally put it in there pop that open there popped that open there and then just progressed nice and gently in there and went click 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 and it literally guys then just gently lifts off at the end and comes off now the drive as you can see is in there um, and you gently lift it out and as i also stated in the video earlier it is actually a samsung drive two terabyte drive now what you do now is there's some rubber grommets as you can see there you just gently pull them off they are literally screw protectors and they also make it fit in the caddy and as i say i actually plan to use it in the caddy as i've told you so what we then do we gently going to take the screws out now it is a phillips head screwdriver um, and i've actually just got a small one it's something that i do not possess in this house um, and it's a pain i'll tell you what i've actually got an electric one now i don't recommend this um, a battery one but i think it might be just quicker and it is apologies for the noise but anyway let's quickly just take these screws out being as gentle as you can and there they are just dropping out and obviously probably got the wrong bit there but there they are four screws make sure you save them they're very important obviously i do recommend a handheld posi drive there guys now what you do we gently and try and prise this tape off um because what you do you pull it off and this is holding the mechanism on now i'm going to try and save this for the drive that's going on it as well now it just literally comes off it's torn off a bit there um not an essential but the next big thing that you do guys is this bit and you gently and as carefully because i'm guessing it's not very flimsy but as you can see it's there so i just might gently just get a screwdriver under there and prise it gently up which that screwdriver is not thin enough but it's it's actually yeah it's prized off pretty easy now obviously that's very essential if you plan to keep the caddy for later but there we now have the perfect drive that saved me 25 30 quid for what less than five minutes and a couple of tools to get in that caddy so without further ado guys let's now bring in the ps4 let me just move some stuff so we've got plenty of room to work with um, place that's drive aside slide my good old ps4 into shot and try and get the glare off it um, if anybody wants to know this was a sticker it's a sticker kit um, that literally came in i think official playstation magazine quite some months ago actually which it is a coincidence now because obviously metal gear is the most played game at the minute which i am actually in the process of playing and damn good it is too and if you want my reviews on it and talk on it tune into my usual gaming weekly podcast crankygamersuk.net over at www.crankygamersuk.net 
and give us a listening. Anyway, let's crack this off. A couple of things to mention before we start. I mentioned this earlier and I'll cover this now because these are a few very important things. You need a USB stick and you need it formatted to FAT32 or XFAT. You need more than one gig of room on it. You then go on the website that I will put the links in below and it is the official update file site of the PlayStation 4 update. Now there is a very important thing you must know. When you get to that site, you will see the recent one. I think it's we're now at 2.57. Um, and you will see a link right at the top of the page. Do not click that link and do not download that version. That is around 270 megabytes and it is only the update file. That is if you already have the user system, the operating system already on the drive. Scroll right down to the bottom of the page and at the bottom it will be the section on how to do what I'm doing, how to put a new installation on a new drive. You will see a small download file, click it to double check. It will say about 785 to 800 megabytes once you've downloaded it. Now format that to FAT32, in there make a folder and call it PS4 in capitals. In that PS4 folder make another folder called update again all in capitals and inside that folder place your downloaded PlayStation software I think it's called ps4 update dot pub or dot well you'll see it anyway guys it's there and I'll probably put writing on there just to be 100% certain but you'll see it with the links that you'll see just the folders are very very important have to be in capital letters ps4 update and then place the actual file in there and I will film me starting that process um, I just also want to cover something as well that I actually did last night that I didn't think was possible and it may be worth a note of course before you start this couple of very important things you want to do back up your cloud saves to the file to the cloud and also back up your achievement um, your trophies sync your trophies before starting this I then got a caddy that I've got a 500, no, I've got a 240 gig SSD drive in a spare caddy that I use just to carry about. In fact, I can just lean over and I can pull it out here right now. Basically, a USB caddy. I formatted that to XFAT on my Windows PC. I then plugged that into my PS4 last night and I was able to run an update in the file settings, in system settings, backup. I was able to actually back up my applications and everything else it found on there onto that drive it was about 207 gigs worth and I'm not quite sure what it has saved but I'll comment later on what it goes back on now one word of warning when I click back up onto that USB drive it took over five hours to back up it is a long process you have to leave it running it then restarted and all my backup is on that caddy you can just back up your saves if you wish I've seen people do that I wouldn't recommend that I'd get a caddy or try and do what I've done back up the lot I'm pretty interested to see what is going to be on there I don't think it's going to be all the games that I have and this is a downside I also want to say I have heard it is possible to back up everything your games that are already installed on there but what you want to note and this is what I'm really hoping that it has saved on the drive and this is what I've heard is the pain if you forget to do this it's all the updates. As an example, Elder Scrolls Online is on there. The update file for that to download from the store is 16 gigs. Um, so I'm hoping all that is on that drive. And as I say, I will update later. And if it is, I highly recommend that's the way to go. Get a USB stick if it's big enough, but definitely try and find a caddy drive formatted to XFAT and back up that way. Anyway, let's start this. I've never done this on the PS4. You are about to witness my first go. I've watched plenty of videos. It's straightforward. Anyone who doesn't know, this is not screwed down. Sony do allow you to do this. It does not validate your warranty on your PS4 by doing this. One word of warning, however, opening that caddy drive on that Seagate does validate the warranty on that. So be aware if you don't want to do that. But I've I'm still blown away at how easy it's been so far. Anyway, basically all you do, fingers on there, a light press and click, it comes off very, very simply. It slides off, you just pull it a little bit further. I know I've seen a few people struggle, but that's it, it's off. And there we have it. 
the thing we're aiming for guys is this little beauty here one screw that's all you need as i said you could ideally do with a phillips and i'm gonna have to find a phillips again um what i do want to show you though and you've probably all seen this um because this is very very and if you if i can get to show this on the camera and i don't think i'm going to be able to because the auto focus on here is very poor let's hope it does there you are you just got a quick glimpse of it there what it is guys it's anyway it's got the sony emblem on it it's got all the little things on it let me try and get it be a shame if i can't focus but you'll have seen it anyway basically what it's got guys but oh there we are you got a very quick glimpse of it there it has got the little symbols on of the controller but anyway that's the screw that is the only screw you do need to take out because then all you do is grab this little thing here let me turn it around so it's actually facing grab this and a gentle pull and that's it that's the sony drive out so again it's removed the four screws um save those as well um definitely save those I'll probably fast forward this bit. It's a bit boring just watching somebody undo screws. But one thing of note when I tell you when we show this. This goes out like that. The last one is under there. I'm sorry for getting my hands in the way. But we, we are literally only opening four screws. Now one word of warning before you notice. In the caddy that you're getting out. Um, there's the front of it obviously where you pulled. So it's writing up. Turn it around to you. Writing up connections out so basically it's slide the old one out bring the other one back in writing up connections out massive word of warning guys to you here whichever drive you're buying obviously if you buy this one it's the correct one if you're buying a standard laptop there are different depths and the standard ones are too deep for this caddy please be aware and do your measurements and do your research you need the thinnest of the laptop drives so let's get these screws and just to say guys these do not need tightening very much at all they literally just sit in very very gently and this is going to prove a pain so i'll probably that literally is basically finger tight guys you don't have to be forcing these in they are literally sitting in the caddy um, but they are very finicky. I should have got a smaller screwdriver, which I think I have one in my watchmaker's kit. But uh, I'll fast forward this bit anyway, guys. But uh, let's try and get this in. I think I'm going to have to find a smaller screwdriver. No, nope. it's literally in. So let's quickly get on with this. Yeah, I've obviously. I can't recommend enough guys just to get yourself a Phillips head screwdriver. My poor organisation. And like I said, I don't actually think I own one. But by the by, it's still running pretty pretty easy. A um, couple of word of warnings. That actual rubber grommet's come out. So I'm actually going to pull that out and do it properly. That rubber grommet has slipped out. So just be careful. As you can see there, there's a tiny rubber secure. When I press that with my fingers it actually came out so just be careful you don't trap anything but that literally is finger tight and that is it guys that is the drive in and it's literally a matter of going in you should feel the give and the click in so in we go and yeah i'll just pull it out again to be 100 percent sure yeah what i'm going to do while i'm here guys just give you a quick uh, blow to get the dust off There's a bit of dust on the front highly recommended and that guys as we bring the front back and we slot it back on there like that and i'm pretty certain it's and that i do believe guys and i'm sort of check now i don't think it's just sat right on there or is it yeah i actually think it is yeah it was it's very simple and that is it that is my ps4 new drive in and i'm going to pause the video here obviously and save this bit and i'm going to come back to when i've reconnected this up got the usb drive in and we're going to go through the actual setup because of course there is absolutely nothing on this anymore so let's um come back in a few minutes and i'll see you soon guys hi guys i'm back for the hopefully fingers crossed final part we have a couple of little things to point out though before we move on we're back to the drive i have managed to get this back in here and there's a couple of important things i want to mention be careful 
way harder to get back in than it was to get the other one out. I, for some reason, and it's crazy, but it's just my luck, the little plastic grommets, I'd lost one of them. Um, that is a spare one because it kept coming out. Slightly does move slightly, but not a big problem. What I will say, the USB cable that I said earlier, leave it in the bag, don't. Because it's got a weird kind of connection that only fits in there. Um, I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't. It's a little bit dark. But it has got a weird kind of connection that I've not seen before. So it obviously fits that caddy. The reason I'm saying be careful, broke a few, a one little clip in here. Very flimsy, right near the USB. It was very tricky to get back in. I mean, I have no doubt that it's going to work. It's pretty simple. I didn't bother also to touch on. Didn't bother putting the tape back on. Just no point. Um, I'll let you know probably on the show or in the links later that the drive should be okay. Anyway, we're back in. Another thing that you're going to need, a wired PlayStation controller. Obviously, there is no, um, no recognition for your controller yet. So what we do, fingers crossed, this is fresh. I'm doing it. You're seeing it. And this is how we're going to go. So you're supposed to press and hold the power button for seven seconds until you hear the second beep. And as we're live, you see, we're testing things. So we're going to switch it on and hold it. I hadn't pressed it right. Hold it for seven seconds. The second beep, we're supposed to let go. Now, what's supposed to happen? We're supposed to start in safe mode. Um, and this is why we have the wired controller, hopefully. But you're witnessing this just as as I am right now. Apologies for the, for the brightness. It is literally... Very sunny today, very warm. Um, we're not seeing anything here at the minute, so that is a bit of. Oh, here we are. It is. I'm pressing the connect button, uh, the button. Here we are, look, straight down to initial. You can use it. What you've got to do, it is number seven, right at the bottom. You can't quite see it on there, but number seven says initialize PS4 reinstall system software. You have got the USB stick in, hopefully, all formatted right and being recognized, but we'll see it live right now and we'll go. Connect to USB, which it is, and we'll go again. Hopefully, this is going to find it, and hopefully, all should be good. So, fingers crossed. Um, it is looking for it still. Apologies if it's not zoomed in a lot. I mean, I could move the camera a little closer because you all you're seeing is reflections. I think I might put the camera down because that's just as bad. Yeah, we'll put the camera back, guys. Let me get it where we can see the screen. There we are. Still saying please wait. I did notice last night, just to fill time, that when I was using the caddy on the USB, the, U the USB reading is very slow. Um, just to actually find the drive. Now, if this obviously doesn't find it, what will happen, that will be a problem of how the USB stick's formatted. Um, but we shall see anyway. Give it a few minutes. I like to leave it in real time. Just so you guys get to know um, the other thing. One other thing I forgot to mention before I get loads of comments. You may have noticed some of the sharp-eyed ones amongst you. I've noticed straight away, obviously, when I was trying to set up for the second part. I forgot to put the PlayStation screw back in. Um, wasn't a big deal. I literally unclipped the side, as you saw previously in the video, and just dropped the screw, the screw in. Here we are, guys. It says the PS4 will be initialized. All users and data will be deleted are you sure you want to continue? So I am pressing, hopefully, yes. And it is now initializing. Now, I am going to pause the video and stop and come back later. But then again, it's, let's just see what it's doing. We may as well do it in real time. I know it's a bit boring. I might speed this up. But we may as well leave it on 30%. If that's just the intro to start it going, then I will actually... Just come back when it's finished and all fingers crossed, we will be done. Um, so let's just let this get to 100% to see exactly what it's doing. But so far, guys, hopefully the video has shown just really how, how amazingly simple this has been. The caddy, yes, it's a caddy that was enclosed literally seconds to undo. Um, and it should now be running the old drive 500 gig spare if, that, if you're bothered about that. Um, I'm not that bothered. I've got two or three actually lying around. Um, but like you see, it's been pretty straightforward. So fingers crossed. And I will close this video down with a final, final 
chat on everything, how it went, how it finished at the end, what the backup was. Um, now, if that has actually done it already, it's restarting. I may as well just let it finish. If that's done it already, I'll be astounded. Because as you've seen, guys, it literally has took seconds. Let's have a look. System software. I've got a feeling that this is where it's going to take a lot longer. So at least we've got the PlayStation stuff coming up, which is a good thing. Um, so hopefully we'll go. Tell what I'll do, guys. I'm going to pause the video. And yeah, we are in a install and update file. This I have seen this can take quite a few minutes, although we're on 2% already. But I'm going to pause it. So we'll be back in a second when it's finished. And we'll probably have the backup ready to install as well. So you've seen how simple it is. To install and do and I shall see you in a few minutes guys hi right, guys we're back um, just let me turn the volume down so you can actually hear me over the TV volume basically guys went perfect absolutely took two three minutes reinstalled and we came back it just let me do my Wi-Fi my settings now what I have I've plugged in my caddy drive hopefully I can lift this up and just show you there look it's plugged into my PS4 I've gone into settings as you can see let me just back up so you can see settings down to the bottom into system down to backup and restore and restore ps4 using the data on there so we click that that's the one that i did last night click it and click restore click yes now the thing is guys that took five hours or more to actually save it onto the drive so i don't know how long it's going to take I may do another little bit of a video just at the end to say, or I might just put in the comments. But that's it. You've seen the video. It probably took, what, 20 minute video? Really easy to do. A few niggles as you saw along the way. Nothing major. Just make sure you follow the instructions, as I said on the video, with the USB, the links, the download, um, the drive, if you're going to use that one. Uh, I'll put the links to bespoke in the bottom as well. That saved me a lot of money. So, all in all, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. And I have. It's been pretty straightforward. And hopefully the backup isn't going to take as long. So until next time, don't forget to join me at crankygamersuk.net. Click subscribe, click like, and it's www.crankygamersuk.net where we have a weekly gaming podcast where we cover all our gaming. So there you have it. It's gone pretty smooth, and I've enjoyed it. Until next time, bye for now. Bye.